Hello everyone, welcome to this very short video on how to live stream Zoom to Spot Me live stream. Uh, this is going to be a very short one because this is a very easy way method of live streaming. So let's get started. I am connected on my Zoom account here. Uh, this is a Zoom professional account that we have in our company. I am going to create a new meeting very quickly. I'll join with the audio, I'm just muting myself, stopping the video for now. We don't need all this. All right, so I have my Zoom meeting here. So the way we can live stream, and you need to double check with your admin if you can do that or not, uh, and check with them how they can enable it if that's not the case. I think it's the in the admin setting of Zoom, very simply. If I click on the more functionality here, I have a menu called live on custom live streaming service. This is what we're using here. If I click on this, this is opening a new window on my uh, browser. It basically asks me for three things, a Zoom, uh, sorry, a streaming URL, a streaming key, and a landing page here. So let's see how we can get that if we're using the SpotMe live streaming solution. I am connected on a SpotMe workspace here. Let me go into live, live stream. I am going to create a new live stream no i want to continue without audio thank you zoom live stream name so this is my uh zoom direct stream there we go we want to add everything let's get this streaming started in 20 minutes put me live streaming and we save then as usual with our streaming solution you can directly start the preview and again this is going to load for a short amount of time until uh, this give us uh, what we call RTMP uh, credentials. So basically the credentials we will need to be using in our Zoom uh, window here uh, that we can then copy paste and simply enter our, um, our, our setting here and launch our live stream right away from Zoom. What is going to happen when we do that is that we are going to have Zoom directly connected to Spot Me Live. So our Zoom meeting is going to be appearing in this preview window. So we are going to have the cameras, the sound, the slide sharing. Obviously, the limitation is that you cannot have branding like layouts and things like that, because in order to do that, uh, you would have to use a tool in between like OBS, for example, who, which allows you to build these extra layouts. If you want to know how to do that, uh, don't hesitate to check out our other tutorial in a, on our knowledge base where we explain how to use OBS with Zoom, for example. Um, this is, again, the most, uh, the most simplest setup that we're showing here where it's really about live streaming Zoom directly to spot me. Uh, so it does seem our preview is loaded. Obviously, we don't see anything yet because we didn't connect zoom to our rtmp endpoint so on spot me i have my endpoint provided here i'm going to click on that one to copy and i am going to click here paste it there same with the key paste here and then i just need to have a landing page um, not sure why they do that but uh, basically any website would do so you can put any url you click on go live at this moment, Zoom is being configured to uh, to upstream to our uh, endpoint here. Once this is done, we should go on the landing page. We don't really care. We can close that. There we go. And now if I go on Zoom, it does say live on custom live streaming service. I don't really have a lot of options except that I can do that, which is basically bringing me back to the website, use less again, and I can stop it if I uh, copy the streaming link. Uh, again, not useful. Uh, but what should happen uh, here after the 30 seconds of delay is that we should see our Zoom uh, being, uh, being streamed. Let me refresh to make sure this is the case. There we go. So you see me. Uh, basically uh, talking in Zoom. If we had multiple people in the Zoom meeting, we would see uh, we would see everybody uh, with the cameras and everything. You don't see it there because I can't enable the camera right now. 
but uh, that would be the case if we were using uh, if we were using a standard zoom meeting with cameras on and slide sharing and everything so we would see everything here with a very basic layout again because it's a zoom direct uh, direct upload and then I could go live and start uh, broadcasting to the web app for the end user to see it again this is a view that is only for us internally within backstage and not yet visible to all our audience um, I think that's it that makes it extremely easy again on how to live stream from zoom thank you guys for watching and enjoy your next stream bye bye